What's going on guys? Me, David here, back for another shade. And I know, you're seeing a little bit of a different light set up here. Well, um, I really like the lighting that I had when I was over at, in Vegas. And Rocio needs a ring light to take pictures of all her whatnot stuff. Let's see. Is this the price it goes? I don't know, let's see. Okay, well, Rocio needs a, a ring light to take nice pictures of like the reefs and decorations that she makes. So I bought her this gigantic monstrosity of a ring light. And, um, <clears throat> well, it's pretty fucking, uh, it's large. It's probably overkill for what I need. But still, we're going to go ahead and try this out and see how it goes. You let me know if you guys like this. Wait, let me see. Hold on. That makes everything else a little brighter. What do you guys think? I don't know. You guys seen the difference with or without that light on. You guys tell me what you guys think is a little bit better. I have no idea. So we're going to try it out. It's a little weird. I know you can see the glare. If the glare is too much of a distraction, but please give me your opinions on the light situation. You think maybe a smaller ring light would work out better? Because this one's working. It, you know, it takes up a lot of space and shit. So we'll, we'll see. We're going to go ahead and try it out. Today, I have a soap. It was sent in to me by uh, Shave326. First line shave. Those two guys that don't know him, that's Ken. Shave three two six. He's also of Aloha Shaving. Um, he's uh, turning brushes now. So if you check that out, this is first line shave blue, and this is uh, an Eternity dupe, which I love. Eternity. I love old school Eternity. It's something that I started wearing back like in middle school. So I've always been a long time fan of the scent, and we're gonna go ahead and get right into it. Of course, you guys do know I, I load straight from the tub. I got that Wild West Brushworks brush going in right now uh, uh mr derek wheeler i believe in derek wheeler i could be wrong forgive me if i am wrong but we're gonna go ahead and use this and see how it goes i don't know if this is an old base i really don't know how old this thing is but we're gonna hopefully it's as good as the base that i'm accustomed to like i have the razor ruby razor ruby undead uh those are fantastic releases i have used fallout i enjoyed those as well so hopefully those it's all the same i think that looks pretty good to me Oh, the ring light. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh, there we go. With that ring light, I could do the close-up and it zooms in nice. Ooh, we. All right, so that's one thing already, a plus that I like on this thing. But you guys, again, you guys let me know. Pretty much I'm going to try to make this the best viewing experience for you guys. Um, it's just one more thing to set up for me. So if I can avoid it, I'll fucking avoid this shit. I don't care. But it doesn't benefit me now. Man, this week I've been dealing with a huge pimple on my lip. I popped that bitch yesterday. It looks like I still didn't get everything out of it, but, you know, we're trying here. We're trying. We'll, we'll, see. we'll see how it goes. Man, I'm going to get into a face lather. This sweet spot knot is one of the... I wouldn't even consider it floppy, but it has the least backbone. Uh, probably every other brush you see that gets regular rotation in my den which it just makes it a nice little change of pace doesn't make it bad doesn't make it better or worse it has enough backbone not to be floppy this isn't some art of shaving shit this isn't some ten dollar knot you bought at the beauty supply store this is you're still wonderfully soft has enough backbone to make face lathering enjoyable but if you're somebody that may suffer from like sensitive skin, somebody that may have that issue to where face lathering bothers you a bit, but you enjoy the process, that might be a good knot for you. It's not the most dense, doesn't have the most backbone, but it has an appropriate amount of both um, without being just fucking whack, you know? And really nice tips on it. Really, really nice tips. And we're going to go, once again, with the Odin's Blade. From Joe Edson. The last time I used this one, I just tried to touch it up on the 20K stone. Didn't work out. Didn't like the edge at all. Killed this edge. Started off from bevel set. So we're going to see if I actually got this right. This is one of the more smiley blades that I've ever honed. Oh, you can see that nice mirror polish on the edge. Ooh -wee. That's nice. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Oh, yeah. I think this may be a winner. According to like the certificate of authenticity from Joe Edson, it instructs you to make sure if you hone this, to hone it with one layer of electrical tape, 
Otherwise, you will void the warranty. What the warranty is, I have no fucking idea. I didn't buy this from Joe. I bought this secondhand. One of the best purchases I've ever made. This is going to be one of those den lifers. It is so damn hot in here, man. I am sweating bullets, man. It's a tough situation in here today. So hopefully we can make this shit a little quick, man, because I'll tell you. I'm already suffering. I did have an energy drink right now, so the hands are a little bit shaky. Shouldn't give me too much of a problem, though. The, the caffeine mixed with the heat. Always has a tendency to make my hands a little bit, a little shaky. I thought the, the the degrees, the temperature in here was going to be much more palatable. Um, it's one of the cooler days. We're actually back in the high 70s today. It actually rained. Middle of the night, I woke up with big, heavy drops. And I'll tell you, in my area, we never get rain in July and August. It just doesn't happen. Luck, we'll be lucky if we usually get rain. Um, coming around like September. But even then... Usually we're not seeing much rain at all until about October. And even that's an if. And to be, I guess we're in a drought again in California. I don't know. Just, uh, it's, I feel like it's been like 20 years since it fucking really rained much here. But, so I can't tell no difference. It was really strange to be waking up. And I'm telling you, it wasn't like it was storming really hard, but it felt like every single drop of water those hinges, clunk, clunk, clunk. It was just super heavy drop. It was really weird. But even with the rain, it hasn't cooled off enough to make it feel nice in this restaurant. It's fucking miserable in here. Whew. And I will tell you, I like the edge on this razor. It came out well. I did do the full progression. I went to the... No, I didn't kill the edge super, super low. I killed it on an 8K. And then I brought back the bevel on the the Hayabusa. The, the Goken Hayabusa, which is the 4K. So I brought it back on the 4K, then went to the to the Naniwa Superstone 8K, the Naniwa 12K, and then I went to the Suhiro 20. Got a couple unruly hairs I'm at the cut over here. I think because of like the humidity and stuff, almost like a female with curly hair that they frizz. I think my mustache starts to get a little bit unruly when we're having like this weird, really moist heat. Not like I'm in an area that's particularly dry heat, but this is probably a little bit more moisture than usual. So I had no idea how this was going to go, but... Really happy with the result. Now I have the ability to test the longevity of this razor. It is a, what is it, Samana, Samanagashi, something like that. Blue number two, which I think is supposed to be a a metal that is a bit harder to uh, hone, but the right edge retention is supposed to be really good. So, even though I won't normally pay much attention to how many shaves is on a particular edge, 
this one just for the sake of because this is this is a, a metal that's usually different usually you see a lot of like o2 steel but i don't have too many different pattern steels except for the few customs that i've got acquired over the last year or so nice strong scent it's strong enough for me i really enjoy that but even though I thought I loaded pretty heavy, it feels like this soap is dying out a little bit on me on this third pass. So it is struggling to get the three passes on there. Maybe it had to load a little bit heavier. This has been sitting around for a while. I could tell because the puck is now rattles around in the tub. It was never used. Um, so it has uh, dried out a bit. It makes it a little bit harder, probably making it a little bit more difficult for soap to transfer onto the brush. Next time, I know, load a little bit more. My favorite butcher shop over here in the area is called is, is a spot called Lewis Butcher Shop. Uh, they sell some really nice quality meats, tomahawks, um, some prime cut meats, really nice um, picanha. I picked up a prime picanha yesterday, no, a couple days ago. And some Argentine sausage, put that on the smoker yesterday. Very nice. The family's already claiming that picanha is now their new favorite. Uh, their new favorite cut of meat. Now, you could be just preserved at the moment, but I was really satisfied with the seasoning. I tried out a new seasoning that I haven't used either. It's by Chupaca, uh, Chupacabra Rubs. It's their brisket magic, which is catered towards the beef. That is beef, so I used it even though it wasn't a brisket, but still. The flavor profile was fantastic. I didn't find the rub to be as coarse as I typically like it. So I would be curious to how the bark would be on a brisket because on the bikini you're not looking for no bark. You just you just want some nice flavoring. You'll get a little bit of a crust once you do like the hard sear, either open fire or on cast iron. And it just, yeah, it was just it wasn't much uh, in terms of the coarseness of, of the salt and pepper in the rub. So we'll see. So that's the end of the third and final pass. I'm going to go ahead and rinse off and we'll come back for the final thoughts. All right, and we are back. I'm going to go ahead and dry myself off. I got to get the whole face on this one because, and head, because this is, this is a steamy one. Whew, man. That has to be something I could do in here. It's so far away from a window, I can't even run like a fucking AC in this bitch. It's, uh, it's just so inconvenient. So, so inconvenient. So, we're going to go ahead and go with first line shade, the matching aftershave, the blue. Very nice. Very, very nice. Got a nice thing. I like Mac O'Reilly's aftershaves. He has a nice appropriate burn. Still has some good conditioning properties. It's just a nice, well-balanced aftershave. It's not overly ridiculously skin foodie. It isn't just fucking burn the fucking skin off your face. It always has a nice, good scent strength. Nice, good alcohol burn. Again, nothing outrageous. And but still feels like you're leaving your skin nice. So, hell of a job there, Mike Riley and First Line Shave. Once again, over here, this is First Line Shave Blue. This is the Eternity Dupe. Love it. Really brings me back to growing up, man. This is one of the scents of my childhood. You go to Eternity, you see uh, Davidoff Cool Water. Then you, once I got a little bit older, now you got Curve. Oh, Curve. So, so good. And Burberry London. Those are stuff that I really grew up in that kind of just, you, those kind of went along with me as I aged. It was just really, really cool when I get those type of dupes. Um, it excites me. It just does. So, hell of a job. Thank you so much, Ken Shay326, for sending that over. Really appreciate you, man. Um, hell of an edge on the Odin blade. Joe Edson. I, I got I to get another razor from Joe Edson. His shit is just too good. It's too fucking good looking. It's just, it, I, I need more. I need more. I need more. I need more. Along with some other stuff. It's an obsession. Let's face it. We're fucking sick. What is wrong with us? We just get too much shit, but it is what it is. So, hey, guys, if you made it to this point of the video, 
You know how much I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much for sticking sticking with me all this time, riding through me all, all through these trials and tribulations, all the fucking drama and nonsense. I really fucking love y'all, man. So thank you so much. That being said, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll catch you on the next shave.